poem. A poem to read. Okay. Okay. It's oh. called A Thin Vale Yule. Twas the night before Yuletide and all through the house. Not a creature was stirring. Thanks to Oreo, not even a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> the stockings were hung in mid-air mid by magic. If Father Christmas didn't show, that would be tragic. I need to get the bailers were cuddled, all snug in their beds, while visions of spirits danced in their heads. Bear dreamed of being a few stones lighter. <laughs> he came through the operation like a champ and a fighter. I love that. Sweet Chantel had such a relaxed smile on her face. Her last nasty math test was gone with an ace. <laughs> <laughs> Carol was dreaming and dream giggling and with such abandon and glee. She was holding a new pusser in her jeans, you see. <laughs> now Jack! <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Now Jack, he was seeing ghosts everywhere. Great videos he was taking and photos to share. <laughs> Carolyn had visions of someone most dear. Sighing and smiling, he must have been near. <laughs> Grandma Arlene was surrounded by books of historical figures, even nasty old crooks. <laughs> Kim, unfortunately he's not here, not you Kim, but the other Kim. <laughs> Kim was a snake, and she was a coil around her handsome hubby, Uberman Doyle. <laughs> <laughs> yes, fun. <laughs> and Sandy was pleased as the spirits heard to tell, you are our dear friend, and we love you as well. Aww. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> that noises and no, tell me more. <laughs> were heard on the patio. It was Father Christmas. The big cheese. The daddy -o. <laughs> <laughs> He walked through the glass door, closed glass door, like all spirits do, and talked to little Oreo with a chortle and coo. <laughs> he noticed the stockings all hung in midair. And he knew that great ghost hunters must be sleeping there. He went to the stocking, each one's in time, put on and put in their presence with great deliberation and rhyme. There he deserved, like all great men do, a fabulous meal with a big steak to chew. <laughs> For Chantel, he thought a shiny bright degree with accolades and trophies. Don't you agree? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. Here, here. For Carol the Sweet One and the Fabulous Cook, a new book by Sandy, The Spiritual Cook Book. <laughs> oh, that would be fun. That would be. For Jack, uh -oh. Uh -oh. the Ghost Hunter, a key colored like cherries. His own private key to spend the night at St. Mary's. Oh. <laughs> there we go. I'm in for that. Ah, oh, Carolyn, my dear, for you something treasured, abundant love for your heart that can never be measured. Yeah. Arlene, dear lady, such a treasure to all, some never-ending pins and post-it notes for your wall. <laughs> Kim, my sweet friend, as you rush to and fro, the gift of time in your stocking. You can use it, we know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. For Shandy, my love, <clears throat> great gladness I give in knowing that you are the greatest psychic that ever did live. Oh. And as all warm spirits do, he disappeared in thin air. But from the love we all felt, we knew he was there. <laughs> Merry Christmas and I love you all, Proxy. Oh, oh yeah. that was awesome. Well, copies. I've already got them. Oh, my God.